Hello friends, welcome back to the 14 development tutorials. The last video we discussing we were discussing about uh, Odoo inheritance, and we uh, talked about uh, uh, traditional classic inheritance. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss about traditional prototype inheritance. So first, what is prototype inheritance? So that's what we are looking at. So here. This is uh, one of the classic class inheritance that we discussed in the last video. This is the one that we are going to discuss prototype inheritance. So, the main main points that uh, described below this image. So, this method is used to copy features. Then uh, next thing is next point is uh, saying that new class ignored by existing views then stored in different table. So this method is used to copy features from our existing object to our new business object. As you can see in the image this is the object one original object and it have the attribute one and when we create this uh, object new new object with the na uh, different name by inherit attribute it will create a new copy it will uh, it will copy all the uh, attributes everything uh, features from the original object and create a new one with addition of uh, new things that we add in our uh, inherited class then uh, this new business object or class will not work with the existing views that's defined for defined for uh, our original business object so we will have to define new views for our new business object and the same uh, thing uh, in the database it will consume a different database space it will be stored in a different table so i hope you got the uh, three points about this prototype uh, model I will show one example uh, from Odoo okay so here You may have seen this uh, chatter widget in many forms like sale order, um, purchase order, invoice, those kind of uh, many records. In many records, you may have seen this area. So to do uh, to bring this uh, related concept to our class, Odoo inherit some models. To that business objects so if you take uh, account move object as an example that's our uh, model for the invoices it inherits portal uh, po uh, portal mixing mail thread mail activity missing sequence mixing these four business objects this for uh, classes So what will happen is uh, this account move will have all the features of these four classes and in addition to that it will have all these defined functions and additional fields etc. Okay so uh, this is the uh, one common example that you can see here. So. Uh, 
what will happen is we will uh, let's check we can uh, we can go to the mail thread class I already opened that here so this mail thread this mail thread have all these fields see all these fields and all these uh, methods functions defined so here message is follower is a boolean but it's a compute field so uh, this class also is a abstract model so you can't uh, see that in our uh, database and this is a compute field again uh, message follower id is a one to many field and message partner id is again in a compute field so uh, again message channel id is a compute field then uh, this one is a one to many it's a boolean again compute so if you check all these things there are some uh, all the fields are compute most of them and only one thing that is not compute message main attachment id so this we can see in our in our database okay so message mix in attachment id so it's defined in the mail thread dot mail thread object okay uh, let's check i copy this name from here and we can search that here in the account move see uh, it's not defined it's not even mentioned in the second move file so you can check all other uh, extension of the second move uh, it, you can't see that so it's not defined under account move okay so it's uh, defined under the uh, it's declared under this mail thread dot py under the uh, mail thread object but if you check this account move table in your pg admin in your postgres database you can see this is the account move table you can see message main attachment here message main attachment so what happened is oh, system copied all the features of those uh, that inherit that inherited class to our uh, account move class this is the one that is visible uh, in the database that's why I show you this message main attachment ID all other fields are accessible uh, in our code like uh, uh, using the dot operator you can uh, you can see uh, message for dot message follower message follower IDs all these things message IDs everything is accessible uh, in our code but this is the one I can show you in the database that's why I show you this one so I hope you understand the concept uh, thanks for watching uh, we will discussing we will be discussing about uh, the next inheriting uh, method this uh, uh, delegation inheritance in the uh, coming video uh, please subscribe to our channel to get the updates on the new uh, videos and thanks for watching again if you have any doubts please put down the comment section